new video from witnesses just coming into our newsroom. Uh, we're trying to get that fed up here for you as you look live right now at the scene. Police tape uh, up right there as they are on scene. Again, eight people have been shot and killed. Uh, that's what we know of right now. That number could increase. This happened sometime right before 3 o'clock. We first learned of it at 3, and then the police department in Buffalo tweeted about it a half an hour later at 3.30. If we can pull up that tweet just to give you a recap, they essentially just told the people of Buffalo they are on the scene. Uh, a suspect is in custody. Uh, based on the social media videos that we saw, that suspect was wearing camouflage. You see the tweet right here. Uh, it's the supermarket on Jefferson Avenue. Again, they say multiple people have been struck by gunfire. We are now confirming at least eight people have been killed. Again, the shooter in custody. Everybody is urged to avoid the area. And we'll show you a map again of this tops supermarket. Again, uh, the nearest fire department is just south, uh, not even a block from the Tops Friendly Market. And there is also a hospital somewhat close by. So you hope in a situation like this that if anybody is injured and still has a chance to pull through, that you can get them quickly, uh, as, as quickly as possible, to a hospital. As we take another live look, you see, again, the crime scene tape up. Um, investigators trying to make sense of this horrible, horrible act um, that, uh, again, may have been streamed on social media. There are reports of that. We haven't confirmed it. Uh, you know, you guys were just talking about the manifesto where uh, this man may have described himself as a white supremacist. I'm being told that we now have the soundbite uh, from one of the many witnesses who you see right there. Let's listen to what this person saw. He took the machine gun with the strap and put it to his chin. And I was hoping that he'll shoot himself. And he didn't. He put the gun down on the strap. And then he took his the gun, he put it down. He did put something on his feet. He took his vest off. And then he got on his hands and knees and got on his back. And then they arrested him. So, do you believe that this was a targeted attack? I have no idea because, no, it, it couldn't have been because when I first saw him shooting, he shot a woman, he shot a deacon, he shot another woman. And then he went in the store and started shooting again. So I don't know who he was shooting at because he shot at least eight, eight people. And he was doing this when I see him. Because you can see inside the store. And so I saw him doing this. And I'm like, I don't got a phone on me. So I'm like, somebody, I'm screaming, called up. Somebody called the police. Who um, is the deacon? He's a guy, uh, T Teeny. Um, he's a Jitney. He's a good guy. He don't drink, he don't smoke. He don't curse, he don't swear. He's against violence and he gets shot by a gun. It's just ridiculous. No, he's, he does jitney, he takes people home, older people. He works at the Sneaker Town and he belongs to State Tapanaco Church. How scary is this for you to see this happening in a place that, that you live, you know people here? I put that into perspective for me. Well, being that um, next Thursday I'm gonna be 51 and, I, and that's the only place where you can sit down. I was gonna drink my juice and I was about to sit down. But something told me to go on by my business, and I'm glad I did, and I sat right there. And then two minutes later, I hear gunshots. So I would have been standing right there at Tops, and <laughs> who knows what would have happened. So I'm glad I, I, I left. So you can't even feel safe in your own neighborhood. People come over here with army suits on shooting people. This is ridiculous. That man just talking about the factor of chance here that he could have been one of those people who were shot just going to the grocery store to get food. Um, we know, again, eight people have been killed. That number could increase. Uh, the governor, Kathy Hochul, here in New York has tweeted that the state is sending support uh, in the investigation as authorities try to confirm uh, the motivation behind this attack and everything they can learn about it. And we will continue also digging for information, and we'll, we'll keep coming in as we get more information. We'll send it back to you.